In 1905, a pharmacist named Claude A. Hatcher created his own cola business, the Union Bottle Works. And in 1924, they would release their iconic southern soda, Knee High. From the origins of the soda to the Knee High bottles, today, sit back as we look back on Knee High Soda. After creating the southern legend Chero Cola, along with some other sodas such as ginger ale and root beer, Claude Hatcher got some unwanted attention from the southern cola neighbor, Coca-Cola. Due to Coke's power, they managed to sue Chero Cola for copyright infringement and forced them to change their name to just Chero. This killed sales and eventually, the soda was to be discontinued. However, Hatcher wasn't done. During this period, he went down two separate ventures. One of them being the famous Royal Crown Cola, aka RC Cola, which maybe will get its own look back one day, and the other was a line of fruity sodas named Nihai. The drink came in all sorts of fruit flavors like grape, orange, and peach, and were a pretty big success. Even a decade later when the depression hit, Nihai managed to push through with barely any bruises, and they managed to stay on their own all the way until 2002 when the company was finally sold to Cadbury Schweppes which, as we remember from the Orangina video, got bought by Keurig's Dr. Pepper's Snapple division who still owns and runs the company today. Nihai is best known for its name being a pun on the term Nihai, which is because the drink is Nihai in flavor. Its marketing campaign consisted of using slightly provocative imagery for the time of a woman's legs with the skirt cut off around the thighs. A fun fact here is that this poster is actually the inspiration for the leg lamp from A Christmas Story. It was also one of the first soda companies to use celebrity endorsements for advertising. Even from the early days, they had Bing Crosby, Joan Crawford, Heidi Lamar, and even Bob Hope as spokespeople for the drink. Nihai also partnered with Robert Ripley to have the drink be promoted on the then wildly popular radio show, Ripley's Believe It or Not. And in the show MASH, there was a character who was known for his love of grape Nihai, which just served as another reason the soda was so popular. And we can't forget about the giant Nihai bottle in Auburn, Alabama that stood between 1924 and 1936 that served as a tourist attraction for the area and also some advertising and fan attraction for the soda. But, like a lot of new products, once they came out hot and kept themselves as a name brand, the marketing started to slow down a little. They had some TV commercials in the 70s, but after that, I didn't find a whole lot on their marketing or sales. But, it's safe to say, it did the job for the time. Nihai has had many flavors through the years. Here's the list of all the ones I could find, but make sure to comment any missing flavors if there are any. Starting with the three flavors we still have today, you can get Nihai Peach, Grape, and Orange. And for the discontinued flavors we have Dr. Nihai, which was their version of Dr. Pepper, Nihai Chocolate, Nihai Lemonade, Nihai Wild Red, Nihai Blue Cream, Nihai Blue, yes they're different, Nihai Strawberry, Nihai Black Cherry, Nihai Root Beer, Nihai Ginger Ale, and Nihai Fruit Punch. Looking back, we see a classic soda pioneer who might not be as prominent as they once were, but are still here and still have the same core values as when they started. And that's pretty rare to see. While we do have big name sodas like Mountain Dew, who genuinely care about soda drinkers, they're really the only ones. While yes, all soda companies care about soda to a degree, it's like doing something for money as opposed to doing something out of passion. And I feel Nihai, RC Cola, the whole shebang, was a passionate company who enjoyed innovating and just making some damn soda, man. And honestly, I saved this for the end in case it made some people click away. But uh, I've never actually even had Nihai, because I'm a northern boy, so I've just never had the option to buy one. But when the day comes and I see it, oh, I'm gonna grab every kind I can find. And you know you'll be there right with me when it happens. Until then, make sure to leave your Nihai memories in the comments below. I love hearing your guys' thoughts on these products. They really make my day. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.